Okay, it's a quick demo of where we are with the OB2, OBD2 device now. Uh, I've just plugged it into the OBD2 port. The car is off at the present time. And uh, you can see it's, uh, it's trying to initialize the OBD2 port, but obviously the car's not turned on, so I'll just turn it on. And after a couple of seconds, the uh, initializing message will disappear. And we'll go into the data routine, PID routine, and you can now send um, whatever PID you want to by clicking up and down on the little gizmo and number five happens to be engine water coolant temperature and you can see there the value we're getting back is 33 degrees that's just with the ignition sitting on now I have set a um, demonstration fault code by just turning off the high voltage switch at the back uh, starting the car letting the IMA fault come on and then turning it off so I've now um, put the switch back to the normal position and turn the car on and uh, obviously we have the check engine light on the dash so if we now go into the uh, diagnostic code routine if I press the button in and hold it go to the DTC routine it'll tell us what code it is and it's a uh, 1576 and uh, if I click the button down it'll clear the code because the fault's been cleared that's come back cleared OK and it will go back to uh, tell us that there are now no routines, no code set and go back to the normal uh, scanning routine for the uh, PIDs that we want to set and if we go back to the dashboard we'll see that the um, diagnostic code has been cleared. Sorry about the glare there on the display. So uh, we're getting there and uh, I'll just go to uh, number 11 on the uh, hex 11 on the display PID routine. Uh, this is the throttle position. So if I just move my foot up and down, you can see the value changing. I've got it uh, the refresh rate fixed at 250 milliseconds at the minute for the loop. It was just a random value I chose just while I was testing it so I could control the buttons a bit more easily. So we're getting there. Again, just waiting for the HIM to uh, arrive and then I can get some data for the IMA codes, etc. and hopefully be able to display those as well. But uh, yeah, making pretty good progress at the moment. Just ignore the rat's nest on this little board. The actual circuit is very simple from that schematic which I've already published on this thread.